This video is for ankle fracture. The ankle is a weight bearing joint. The ankle is made of the tibia, the fibula, and the talus. We find the medial malleolus and the deltoid ligament on the medial side, the lateral malleolus, the syndesmosis, and the posterior malleolus. Pattern of injury. On the medial side you can get fracture of the medial malleolus or deltoid ligament rupture. On the lateral side you get the fibular fracture. You can also get a syndesmotic injury. Occasionally there is a posterior malleolar fracture. Common types of fractures. By malleolar fracture you will get the medial malleolus and the fibular fracture. Trimalleolar fracture, you will get the medial malleolus, the fibular fracture, and the posterior malleolus. These two types are the most common fractures, although an isolated fibular fracture is the commonest injury we see. Surgical tactics and the strategy. The goal of surgery is to reduce the talus in an anatomical position under the tibia. We usually fix the fibula first. The skin incision is made, the fracture is exposed, and the bone is reduced, and the plate and the screws are used to fix the fractured fibula. Next, we go to the medial side. The medial malleolus is reduced and fixed, usually with partially threaded screws. Then we go to the posterior malleolus. The posterior malleolus is usually fixed if it is a large fragment. We fix it directly or indirectly by partially threaded screws. Once all the fractures are fixed, then we identify if there is syndesmotic disruption or not. We usually identify that by external rotation stress views in the operating room. And we check the medial clear space or the tibiofibular clear space under fluoroscopy. Although the stress views are the best, we always try to inspect the syndesmosis or do the bone hook technique for any excessive movement. Any excessive movement is abnormal. Once you see it, then you need to reduce and fix the syndesmosis. How do you do the stress views? You place the ankle in neutral position, you apply external rotation stress, and you get a mortis view through fluoroscopy. Then you reduce the syndesmosis with a clamp, make sure the foot endures the flexion, and you fix the syndesmosis with a screw. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.